want to play a game. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So currently, I am in quarantine. We are in a full lockdown. There is literally nothing to do, nowhere to go, which, you know, isn't that different from my everyday life, but it's like this thing when the government tells me that I can't go anywhere, I want to go everywhere. <laughs> so since there is absolutely nothing to do and nowhere to go, I figured we could play a little game. Now, if you guys watched my recent vlog, I did a PR unboxing from the iconic Laura Mercier, and they sent over an entire collection of their caviar stick eye colors. And seriously, you guys, these are so freaking cool. I have a couple of my own. My favorite one is probably this gold one. I have used it quite a bit. And with this PR package, they sent along instructions on how to play a fun little game. So I thought this would make kind of like a fun video. Basically, this game is going to be picking out all of our eyeshadow colors and we have to come up up with a look. I do have my base down already. I do look a little dewy. I look a little too dewy. I used a new setting spray that I haven't really used before and I think it made me look a little too dewy and my nose ring is sticking out. Distract ourselves from everything going on on the outside world right now. It is absolutely crazy. I hope you all are staying safe, healthy, washing your hands, isolating yourself, staying six feet away, not working if at all possible. I hope you guys are being safe and hopefully this video comes as a little distraction to all of you. So I have two different camera angles going right now. I have this one, which is the one I'm talking to you guys on. And then I have this one right here, which is where we are going to be playing the game. It also came with some directions on how to play the game. It also came with a deck of Laura Mercier cards and it came with a single die. So basically the whole point of this is this deck of cards and this single die right here are going to be choosing our entire eye look today. I will read you guys the instructions on how to play and we can go ahead and get going and we can transform our eyes into something which I'm very nervous about. I don't know how this is going to turn out so you know pray for me. All right so step number one is to roll the dice. It also has the little LM logo on the front here. If you do roll the dice and you land on this you roll again but actually the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shuffle these cards. Because Okay, so now that we have the deck of cards all shuffled, we are going to go ahead and roll the dice. Ooh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Three. Oh, so we landed on the number three right here. So once it says, draw the number of cards from the deck that's displayed on the dice. We have one, two, and Three. And these cards are going to tell us which caviar eye color stick we're going to be using. And then it also says on here that if you were to draw the same card, you can draw again. Right, so I have not looked at the cards yet. I am so nervous. We're about to flip them over and see. Oh my god, I'm so Here are the cards that we drew. Looks like we have pearl raspberry and then this one i don't really know what these ones mean i'm gonna put this one off to the side and i'm going to grab the next one on top and this one is turquoise are you serious how the hell am i supposed to create a look with these pearl raspberry and turquoise I'm going to move everything off to the side and I'm going to open up the box right here and I'm going to pick out our three colors. So I gotta find them in here. So we have turquoise, um, let's see, we have pearl, and then raspberry. Ooh, I don't know how I'm supposed to create a look with these, but you guys want to see what look I create with these, then let's go ahead and jump right into it. I feel like I kind of already have an idea of what I want to do. Also, I hope the second camera angle was helpful. I This was my first time doing anything like this, so hopefully I did it right and hopefully the lighting was okay and the sound was okay because obviously it's two totally different cameras. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. So I'm actually going to pop my hair up just so I can get it out of the way here. I need to 
touch my roots up too. Oh, also you see what quarantine has done? We shaved, we shaved some more slit into my, more slits into my eyebrows, so. Ooh, this is a good bun! You guys see that? I have a coworker who, like when I wear my hair in a bun like this, see how it kind of looks like a slinky? Uh, one of my coworkers nicknamed me Slinky because of my bun. Just thought I would share that. Okay, so I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the first shade, which is the color Pearl. And I'm going to do one eye at a time because I do know that these colors set very, very quickly. I'm going to start with this eye right here. And I'm going to start putting this all over the eyelid. And then I'm just going to take a flat top eyeshadow brush, kind of something like this. And I'm going to lightly start buffing this out. It's a really pretty color. It's I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other eye. Whoops, I have an eyelash. Alright, so there is what Pearl looks like on the eyes. As you can see, it is very subtle. It actually kind of matches my highlight, which is kind of cool. I want to ask you guys, what has been the most difficult part about quarantining for you? I know this virus is literally spreading like wildfire, and I know it's really hard for some of you. I know a lot of people aren't working right now. I haven't been working. I haven't worked for like two weeks, which has been kind of stressful. I was in the ER a while ago, which that was fun. If you want to know why I was in the ER I talk about that in my vlog as well but I'm actually still kind of bruised from my IV. I went into the ER because I had an ovarian cyst rupture unfortunately and I had to go to the ER for it because I thought it was appendicitis. So this whole like you know virus outbreak and quarantine thing has been very stressful so I want to know what have you guys been doing during quarantine? Have you read a book? Have you been watching movies? Have you been sleeping? Have you been working? Especially those of you who work in like grocery stores in the healthcare field. You know, what have you guys been up to? I'm really curious to know. Aside from everything else, my life really hasn't changed that much, which just kind of goes to show that I have no life. <laughs> because literally, if I'm not working, I'm home. So, and since I haven't been working, I've been at home just doing YouTube stuff. All right, the next shade that I'm gonna go in with is a raspberry right here, which is what this one looks like. And I think I'm going to, let me swatch this one really quick. Okay, so it actually looks more of like a coppery tone than a raspberry. It looks more raspberry in that direct light, but when you kind of turn it, it has like more of a copper look. I think I'm going to put this on the outer V slash crease. Okay, so just like a little bit right there. And then I'm going to go in, I'm gonna go in with just a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to very lightly start buffing this out. Now remember, you can always go back and add more, but you can't take any away unless you want to completely start over and nobody wants to do that, so. I feel like there is definitely a learning curve with these. I, like I said, I've never done a full eye look with just using the caviar sticks. So, I mean, this is a little bit di difficult for me, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I mean, you know, they do blend. You just have to figure out a way to do it so it looks nice, I guess. <laughs> so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. A little I feel like the whole like dewy eye look really kind of ties in with the rest of my very dewy skin today so I mean you know I guess I guess it all works out Here is what the eyelids look like for now the last color that we have is the turquoise color which is this one right here this really really pretty blue 
and I think I'm going to get a little crazy with it because I think I'm going to put this blue right underneath my eyes. I was originally going to put raspberry right underneath my eyes, but I feel like that would be a little too much and I feel like it would make me look a little too sickly. And that's the last thing we need with everything going on is to look sick. So let's not do that. So I am going to take the beautiful bright turquoise color and I am going to do again one eye at a time. like red white and blue moment very 4th of July <laughs> okay so out of all of them this blue is my absolute favorite it is so flipping pretty we also have a Laura Mercier mascara and I have never tried their mascara before but this is the Laura Mercier caviar volume panoramic mascara glossy black is the color of this one first of all the packaging is really super heavy and here is what the packaging of this guy looks like let's take a look at the brush holy wow that is wild this brush is crazy looking here is an up close view of what the brush looks like Whew. has a very interesting smell um, i don't know why i'm just getting that like nostalgic like childhood smell of pool toys i, I don't know before we go with mascara, we are going to go in and do some eyeliner. I'm just going to go and do a quick wing with the Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. So I will be right back because this requires a lot of concentration. So no wing to a wing. I honestly was not expecting my winged liner to turn out so well. They actually look surprisingly even. I mean, they're not definitely not perfect, but I mean... It's a pretty solid wing. We got a pretty solid wing going. So now that we have that done, thank God, 10 minutes later, we can go in and try the mascara. I'm really, really excited. I am going to be putting this on my top and bottom lashes. I haven't curled my lashes or anything like that. We're just gonna go right into it. So we'll start with this eye first. So right off the bat, it is gripping the lashes really, really nicely. Like I'm not having any issues. The brush is very big, but I'm not having an issue with it like poking me in the eye or anything. Here is what one coat looks like on one eye compared to the other. It definitely is making them longer. I don't know if you guys can see a difference on camera or not, but so here is what the mascara looks like. I think it's actually a really good mascara. Um, I can't smell it when it's on my eyes and the smell to begin with isn't even that bad. Um, it doesn't burn my eyes. Whatever I got on top of my eyelid, it was able to wipe off really, really easily. So the mascara so far, just based off of like a first impression is really, really nice. As far as the overall eye look, I am in love, in love with the turquoise color. I think it is such a pretty blue. I hope it's picking up on camera like it is in person because in person it is like a really bright, vibrant blue. On camera it looks a little dulled down, but I'll have to see what it looks like in editing. Even though they were kind of like the creamy eye color sticks, they did blend out really nicely. Again, if you've never used these before, there is a little bit of a learning curve to them, but after a while you do really get the hang of it and it is super simple. You can totally create a full eye look using this. If you guys are interested in seeing me play another round of this little game right here, I would totally love to do that. Obviously, we will exclude these three colors since we already use them so if you guys want to see me play another game of this I would be honored I had so much fun it was kind of nice that you don't have to sit there and be like hmm what do I want to use when literally these cards will pick for you so I thought it was really cool thank you so much to Laura Mercier for sending out this package but you guys will have to let me know down below what you think of this eye look what you think of these caviar sticks do you like them do you think they're worth it you know sound off in the comments I would love to know your opinions as always if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go down give this video a huge huge thumbs up also if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing make sure you go down and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos I I do upload every three to four days here. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.